So everybody's got the factors of that trinomial all figured out, right? I know I just restarted. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's got to be 2y, y. 6 and 1, 2 and 3, what do you think? 2 and 3, which one where? Okay, if you put the 2 in the back, you'll make 4y. 3y up front. They have to have opposite signs, since that's a minus 6. So I would have to have positive 3 and negative 4. So when I solve them, what will I get? Because you're going to subtract 3 and divide by 2. Now, when I said was I going to give you nice answers, yes, but I consider 3 halves not something horrible, terrible, evil. Now, 27, 40 first or something, yeah, that's bad. 3 halves, yeah, that's equal. Are you done? No. Nope. That was the y coordinates. Mm. You still need to know what x's yeah. go with those y's. And there's a on substitution. There's always a super super smart place to go because on substitution, since you isolate the variable, you now need to solve for. Mm -hmm. So we know x is equal to one minus two y. So therefore, that's going to be the easiest one to sub into. So if we do the negative 3 halves, this actually works out really sweet. Golly gee, what happens to the twos? The twos cancel. The two negatives make a positive, and so I have 1 plus 3. And I have 4. So what coordinate do I have? Yeah, be sure you write it in the right order, x comma y. So yes, we just got an answer of 4 comma 3 halves. Yeah, because this one, if I put y equals 2 in there, 1 minus 2 times 2, that makes negative 3. And so yes, I have an x coordinate of negative 3 and a y coordinate of 2. I actually forgot to ask you on this one. What will be your second? What were those original equations? Oh. What shapes were they? Um, two squares, both positive, different, different coefficients. Yeah. That was an ellipse. Uh, yeah, yeah, this one has no squares. <coughs> no squares, that's a line. So if you think about it, how many times can a line hit an ellipse? Twice would be the most. And we got two and a half. Oh, thank you. It is a negative three half. So it was what now? Yeah. So, boy, howdy, it was good fun. Okay. You all have to look happier. Why? I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need to offer you a couple of hints, I guess. Oh, whoops. I guess I have it written there already. Okay. <laughs> My hints are written up there. How do you know when you work a problem you have a no solution? Okay. Your variables will cancel. Your x's will be gone, your y's will be gone. Things canceled out, but you're still left with something like 1 equals 4. Can 1 equal 4? Yeah. No. So, you know, you've got no solution. Yeah. How do you know you've got an infinite <coughs> many? Well, there's an exact same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Variables cancel, but then you end up with the exact same thing. 2 equals 2, 0 equals 0. If that happens, then you have one where there's it was the exact same equation. So every single thing cancels. So just a little bit of a reminder that those types of problems can happen to you. Okay, on this assignment, um, this is the very last page. There, 
problems five and six, it says solve them by graphing. We aren't doing that. They're crossed out. They're really crossed out. You aren't doing five and six at all. So there's only four of these problems there, period. That should not be a massive undertaking. You've got four problems to solve, and then the li ones to look at and decide which chronic section is it. And sad but true, this would be the end of chronic section. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But a happy thought, as soon as we take these tests, then after Thanksgiving, we will begin reviewing for our semester exam. Oh, that's not going to be